Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today in this video I'm going to explain how you can export your Google reviews from your Google uh, My Business using a plugin. So if, if you have your Google uh, My Business which is a great tool to have your reviews here, right? So the way that you can export these Google reviews using a plugin with WordPress, also you hear how to do it. So you go through your dashboard, right? And then we're going here to the section plugins and then we're gonna go here at new plugin. Okay, so it's simple as if you go to here and type Google uh, reviews, um, you will see that it come up a few plugins. I th the one that I normally use is that one widget for Google reviews. It's working pretty well, so I'm just gonna use it with you as well. So you just need to go and install. As soon as you install, after that, you need to uh, activate it. Okay, so let's gonna activate it in here and then refresh your browser. So once it's installed and activated, we are just gonna do the setup. Okay, so once it's active, you just need to go and refresh this browser. And then you will see that down here is a trust index. So this is what we is here down below, trust index. And then we just need to connect, you see, connect your Google. So it's just simple as it will see a pop-up window in here. And then we just need to select what's your store. So I'm just gonna go for my one, for example, right? And it will see they come up, it should come up your store, right? Or you, yeah, your business. So if it's your business, just, you just need to select and connect. And that's it, it's simple as that. And after that, we just need to set up this layout, okay? So we can pick the one that you like the most, as you can see here, for instance, right? Uh, I can see right after view, so we can pick that one, select, okay? And then it's another style option. We can just probably make it simple as a minimal, right? And then set up the widget. So in here you can put the functions, the, the settings that you want. So if you want to show all or just a specific um, specific reviews, okay. And also the language, the date, line to the left, or center, right or left, justify, review text, review, read more, scroll or truncate. And then here say all these options, high review. High review depends what you want. You just check one check uh, according to your requirements and then save uh, and get the quote. So that's what we need to do. We just need to get the short code, right? So we can just here copy and then we're going back to our home page. So our home page or wherever the section you need to add this. So as you can see here, I have my one which is built with Elementor, but I want that to get uh, exported for these reviews from Google My Business. So I'm just gonna go here, edit with Elementor, and then add a section here down below that is called shortcodes. Okay, I think, yeah, shortcodes, and then add it in here, okay? So then we just need to paste the code, and that's it, as simple as that. As you can see right now here, it feels like funny, but that's for the CSS but I'm just gonna update it and I will see how it's like preview changes. One second, I'll show you that in a bit. I'm just gonna scroll down here and as you can see that it will be how this play into the desktop. Remember to also, I'm just gonna um, refresh here, right? So let me do an update before to refresh, okay? I'm just gonna reload and hopefully that it will display accordingly to what it is, yes, it is, okay. So you can remove that section as it's built with Elementor, right? So then we can just keep the one is um, pulling from your Google reviews, okay? Cool, I think that uh, one thing that you probably need to do is just go here, responsive mode, and then make sure that is also, you see, now is just right and even for the mobile view as well, okay? So it's clean. And you can create this trust for you uh, customers, right? Or for the users that go through your website to display the Google reviews, okay? Cool. All right, thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.